Our trip to the Maldives took us through Doha Airport, where we would spend several hours at the Oryx Hotel. How is this hotel for a long layover option? Let's find out in this video. The Oryx Hotel is a four-star property located inside Hamad International Airport in Doha. For our stay, the hotel would cost us $300 a night. The hotel elevators were easy to find, and if you were worried about germs from passengers, the elevators featured touchless buttons. The hotel lobby is found on the third floor, where you are greeted by this waterfall and great view of the airport below. We were lucky to arrive with no line, even though a line quickly formed after we got there. The lobby area was clean and nicely decorated with some seating available and plenty of space. One thing to note is that we never received any sort of confirmation email for our stay, so we had to call beforehand to confirm our reservation. Our room was located on the same floor as the lobby, which was very nice after a very long trip. We just checked into the hotel, the RX Hotel here at the airport. Let's do a quick uh, room tour. The bathroom was located at the entrance of the room and had this toilet and nice bidet. No one was going to steal the hairdryer at this hotel. Double sinks are always appreciated. Never heard of this brand, but the lotion and soaps and shampoos were nice. Toothbrush and toothpaste in case you forgot these. The shower was my favorite part of the room. It was very spacious and featured an amazing rainfall shower with water that got very hot. It felt so good after a long flight. The AC in the room worked very well and the wood finishes in the room felt very warm and inviting. The room had some waters provided. It also had some hot teas and the coffee was Nescafe Instant Coffee. Big fail. Plenty of storage including a safe if you wanted to lock up your belongings. If you need to do some work, this desk is more than adequate and sits next to the window that looks back into the airport terminal. Before laying down for a nap, we explored the hotel and were shocked to see this very cool lighted lap swimming pool. It's a great way to exercise if you're feeling jet lagged. The gym was great and had plenty of equipment for cardio or a full body workout. We had no idea this hotel had great facilities, but I think what took this top spot for me was this racquetball court inside an airport hotel. Talk about unexpected. Heck, let's just throw in a golf simulator for the fun of it. This is one of the nicer airport hotels that I've stayed at. It gives me the vibes of a Westin hotel. Uh, room is very comfortable. AC works phenomenally. Uh, bed is comfortable, so, so are the pillows. So I went to sleep real, really well here overnight. Uh, we checked the facilities. The, the gym is top notch. And uh, to see a three lap swimming pool inside an airport or hotel is kind of unheard of. So if I wanted to uh, exercise in between my flights, this is a great option. We did have access to the business class lounge. And there's also a first class lounge where you can pay a fee. Uh, and there are some rooms available, but they're very limited. So we didn't want to, want to take a chance on not being able to get a room to relax and shower. So we thought this was a, a really good alternative. 
Before going to bed, we stopped by the Qatar Business Lounge to grab a quick bite. We're about to head down to the terminal for our second leg of this flight. Uh, I think we managed to get about an hour of rest. Uh, we really couldn't sleep. Uh, the second part of this trip is really the, the, the hard part. The first flight being 14 hours long, there's actually enough time to eat and get a full night's uh, worth of sleep. Um, so the layover here has been about five hours. We got one hour of rest and uh the next flight is about, i think four and a half hours um so i don't know if i'm gonna eat or sleep throughout this flight I've, i'm pretty much stuffed right now uh we went into the business lounge and ate a pretty good sized meal so uh we'll see how you feeling i feel good <laughs> you get some sleep mm -hmm. no do you know what day it is it's Tuesday night. I hope you enjoyed this review of the Oryx Hotel at Doha Airport. This video is part of a series covering our bucket list trip to the Maldives. Please make sure to like, subscribe, and turn on notifications so you don't miss the rest of the videos when they drop. Again, thanks for watching.